Hello everybody, Corey here. I'm going to go over the Ulti Holdings for June 5th. Sorry, I had to look at the calendar there. Anyway, just a reminder, I'm not a qualified licensed investment or financial advisor. I just gather the data and present it to you so you can be informed of what's going on with these ETFs. Reminder, they are extremely risky. Please know what you're investing in before doing so. All right, so we didn't have any trades today. I guess I should have hidden all of this stuff, and I didn't. But let's just go to the daily roundup first anyway. Um, while I do that, I'm going to hide these columns. So when we go back, they're not there. All right, so um, obviously we have the same tip. Tickers. I don't have all the IVs here because they've still not wanted to load. Um, so we have most of them. Let's see. Yeah, we can see everything on one screen here. Um, let's move on over. Wow. You know, I saw Ulti going up today. It almost made it to $15. It was like so close. And uh, this is probably the first time ever, I don't know, maybe I'm exaggerating, but I'm thinking it's the first time ever every single stock has been in the green here. Even though that therapeutics company right there was only up seven cents, it was still in the green. And then, yeah, I heard Novavax was running. I heard about ARM. Mm, I was actually at out here about anything else. And I thought with Bitcoin going up, I mean, not big, yeah. Bitcoin going up, you would think MicroStrategy, Coin, Mara, and CleanSpark would all be higher, but they're all down in 3 and 2% up. So uh, that's interesting. Now, out of these, just re looking. Um, Victoria's Secret reported. Um, this evening but I forgot about it and then later when I went and looked it looked like it did a it went way up and then it went right back down so let me see real quick so we closed at 22.61 and then like right after what I have is on 30 minutes so yeah, so a few minutes after the close of the bell, it went up to $24, and then it turned around and went down to $21.76, and then it came back up to about where it closed, and then eventually later on, uh, it starts going down. So we ended up, like I said, we closed for the day at $22.61, and then for post-market, we closed at $22.08. So, lower than what yesterday's close was. Uh, as far as, let's see, Five Below misses Victoria's Secret beats earnings estimates. I guess their guidance wasn't good. Let's see, here it is. Victoria's Secret says it's encouraged by May sales, but is staying cautious amid subdued spending. All right, so, yeah, I didn't even realize the stock was that cheap to begin with. Um, nobody ever talks about it, but anyway, we won't talk, I won't talk anymore about it here. Uh, but Ulta, yeah, so it ended up coming up 51 cents today. So I think when I was showing, I'd started doing this. We didn't have very many days where it actually came up, so we had a March 1st, it went up 65 cents. Um, May 13th, it went up 90 cents. And then I'll have to drag this data down. Sorry, it's something I still haven't gotten around to building out. Oh, I guess I have to go further down but yeah it'll take a while for that stuff to load 
Um, but yeah, so this is the only, what, the third day in its history that it's gone up more than 50 cents in a day. Um, and yeah, it's not going to show today's yet the way I have the formula set up there. But we've been in that $14 range for, well, I guess since the last distribution drop. Seems like it's been forever uh, because we're up the month before that we were in 14 and $15 ranges. All right. I won't go too much into that. I was just curious there. Um, so anyway, we went up 3.53% and S&P was up 1.18%. Yeah, I said I wasn't going to, but now I'm curious. May... 13th. I wonder if we were all green that day. May 13th. We should be this day. Nope. Let me just make sure because I don't know what day it has it. If it's a day ahead or behind. Since their holdings is always dated the day before. All right, so yeah, so they weren't all green there, and I checked both days just to make sure, and then this one would have been at the inception. I'm going to have to pull some of this data out. Mm, I don't have any. <laughs> this is when I was first building it. Um... Yeah, it's going to be hard to tell what's going on there, but I'm going to say they probably weren't um, all positive there either. All right. So going back to here, it's pretty awesome to see all positive day. Of course, we didn't have any trades there. And then we have um, our net assets over here. So we have our low companies, Viking Therapeutics, Victoria's Secret, which will be lower in the morning, and then a therapeutics company. But then we can see that all these other ones come up because we were about an average of 6 to 6.1 million, and now our middle right there is somewhere around 6.2 to 6.3 million. So looking good this week. Uh, let's go to the holdings. All right, so we sort of went over the top. Now, we did go up in outstanding shares, I think. No, that was, I guess we went up yesterday. I did. I missed that. So we went up yesterday 125,000 outstanding shares. Um, we've earned so far 63 cents in premium which is not great because um, next week, it's already a week, I didn't even realize it until somebody asked me this morning, um, but we're already at Declaration Day. Uh, these were really close together. So Declaration Date is June 13th, which is next Thursday. So we have one two we have five trading days left and we've only received 63 cents so far in premium so um yeah 63 cents in premium and the stock has gone down a dollar and 34 cents even though we just made a, a big run today um so let's just talk about this for a minute because i know this what most you most of you care about anyway um so we can see here uh, that we've completed 16 days yeah we're not over midnight yet um and this is where we started this is where we're at we are down a dollar and 34 cents and I don't know why this is formatted as a dollar sign. Yeah, 
There we go. Um, so yeah, so if we go over here, we can see so far we received that $63. You can also see the stocks, the total trades, uh, and the short call nets there if you would like. Um, this down here, of course, we have a calculation, but this is based on the average of the prior two yields. The first month wasn't a regular month, um, so this is just an average and then taking a dollar amount from the average. Um, I think we've done pretty good with that and the short call premium, but the fact that the short call premium right now is half of this estimate here um yeah i don't know and maybe i missed a day copying the trade so maybe i need to go back and scrub and make sure i've copied over every single trade this month just to make sure uh, which is what i usually do on the weekends i usually scrub and do that stuff before i do the weekly videos which i haven't done a great job of the past month or so and i think it's because of the having to then spend the time on the weekends to scrub and do all that stuff and i just don't always have a lot of time um but and ulties is a little bit more difficult uh than others at least as far as trying to there's just so many tickers and so much movements and uh and everything so i apologize but um but yeah this is where we're at um Let's go back to the holdings. All right, so we already know that all these stocks went up. So now the question is how many of these are now over their strike prices? So if we start with ARM here, um, ARM, all the short calls sick for one expire this week. So Victoria's Secret, I believe, is the one that's next week. But, uh, we have ARM here that's 4% over its strike price. It's 131 strike price. It's currently at 136.67. The stock, like we already talked about, went up 9% today. Then we have ASTS, which was Space Mobile. Yes. Sp I didn't mean to do that. But anyway, Space Mobile, $9 strike price. We are underneath that by um, 2%. And then I just saw that I have that pace of values here, so I can do that so I don't lose my data. All right. Um, then we have Clean Spark, $17 strike price, or 4% underneath that. Then we have Coin. Wow. So I didn't even realize Coin got up to this price today, but the strike price is $250. And we got up to 251.40. So we are 1% or $1.40 over the strike price. Um, then we have ENVX, $11 strike price. We're under this only by 1% now or 15 cents. Then we have Hems and Hers, 22.50. We're underneath that 3%. Hood, hood $23 strike price. We're underneath that 6%. Mara, 21.20 strike, we're under that 2% or 43 cents. Micro strategy, wow. So micro strategy strike price is 1700 and we are at 1694.69. So that is three, one, $5.31. Um, now that's close. And then we have uh, Novavax here, $19 strike price. This thing came up, obviously, on news. Uh, to, it came up 18% today to $20.97. Strike price is $19, so we are t we are 10% over the strike price, or $1.97 above. So... Um, and then just to give you an idea, right? On the right-hand side, if you look in the column A, P, let me find my little pointer somewhere here. Uh, A, P here. Oop, 
you see all of these are about 70, 60, 80 cents, whatever on the stock. And then of course you have a tiny bit on your call. So like in this case, this is like, yeah, almost a million dollars negative market value we'd had to pay to close this, which is like negative 11 cents. But if you look at our stock and how much we're on our, our stock, if we take that 11 cents there, then Novavax here is, um, what is that, 97 cents a share, part of, you know, the Ulti share price, which is higher than all of these. So even though we went over the short call, we're still making more money here. Um, now the case would be, you know, if they're going to close this out uh, versus just letting this expire before, they would just let them expire and, you know, they'd get assigned and whatever. But last week's the first week that they've closed all of them out ahead of time um, and ended up keeping the extra money from the stock. So, um, I don't know. We'll see how this happens uh, this time uh, and how they what they do this week. But anyway, so we're over that strike price of 10%. Okay, so Reddit here, $60 strike price. We're at $60.07 because the stock came up 10% today. So we are $0.07 cents over the strike price. Uh, and so that's almost perfect, right? We're just missing out on that $0.07, cents, which if you still look over there, we're still only gives us uh, $0.75 cents, um, for the share price of Ulti, the portion. Um, and then we have Sun Run here with the fifteen fifty strike. We're underneath that four percent. SMCI eight twenty strike underneath that two percent. SRPT um, one hundred and thirty two dollars strike price. We're underneath that nine percent. This is the stock that only moved seven cents today. Then we have Upstart with the twenty six dollars strike price, and we are over that by two percent or forty three cents because the stock came up eight percent today. Then we have Viking Therapeutics here. Uh, it did come up 5% today, but we're still under the $66 strike price by 11%. And then we have the Victoria's Secret here. That doesn't expire till next week with the $26 strike price. Uh, we're underneath that by 13%. Today we closed at $22.61. A reminder that we just closed uh, the end of the post market at $22. Um, Zim shipping here. Uh, we have a twenty-two dollar strike price, and we are over that by eight percent, or a dollar and eighty cents, because this stock came up twelve cents today. Let's say twelve cents, twelve percent. All right, guys. Uh, appreciate y'all hanging out. If you hung in there, thank you so much. I know I've uh, talked a little bit. We gone through. We went through and looked at several different things today, but uh. Anyway, I hope you're still getting something out of the videos, and uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.